say between 12 and 1 is when you arrived there at the farm. Yes. So both of you entered the house through the office door. Right. That door was unlocked. Yes. The clutters did not lock their doors at night. They trusted their neighbors. They didn't expect evil to come to their door. What happened then? Did they shine the flashlight around and look for the safe? Did you find the safe? No. There was nothing, but Perry said that they found Mr. Clutter downstairs. And he said, we asked him for the money, and he said, there's no money in this house. But Dick, he didn't believe it. I thought Dick was going to hit him. Dick said, bullshit, you got a safe in this house. I know it. Dick Haycock was just insistent that the money existed and that Mr. Clutter was lying. And at that point, I still think that Perry Smith did not think that there was going to be any violence that was going to occur that evening. Mr. Clutter, he had such an honest look on his face. I knew he was telling the truth about the safe. I looked at Dick. Dick says to me, better take care of that phone. Smith cut the telephone line. Smith kept the telephone line. Yes. I pointed upstairs and asked who was up there. He said his wife and children were up there. What happened there? Well, I got the woman up for Mrs. Clark. She was in bed. Mr. Clutter said, Honey, don't be scared. These two men, they want some money. The missus said, My husband told you the truth. We have no safe here. Dick asked Mrs. Clutter where her purse was. I think Dick found a few dollars. From there, we went to the boys' room. What happened there? When did we got the boy up? Well, what's the boy's name? Excuse me. All right, then, then what happened? What did the girl do? What was her name? Nancy. The daughter was already awake. She asked, what do you fellas want? Dick told her, it's none of her business. At the time, I was thoroughly disgusted, especially with Dick's attitude. Dick was still persistent that there was a safe. And what did you do with them, man? Put them in the bathroom. All of them? And then Perry said that we decided to separate them. I was the one that tied him up. We had to go one by one. So they put Mrs. C over to her bedroom and tied her up. 